Welcome back to Guitar Channel, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and joining us. And today's a special day. We are announcing the winner of the giveaway for the Sonic Cake Rock Stage Multi Effects Guitar Pedal. It's a fun pedal. There's lots of great stuff going on in this thing. And uh, we are happy to announce the winner. So let's do it. Let's do a little drum roll, shake roll, shake weight. Sean Busan. Sean Busan. Sean Busan. Thank you so much, buddy. Congratulations. You are the winner of a brand new Sonic Cake pedal that will be sent to you via Amazon from Sonic Cake directly. So please, if you can contact us at info at guitarchannel.com and we'll hook you up and get that sent to you right away. So once again, everybody, thank you so much for participating in the giveaway. Uh, wish you all could have been winners. Uh, it always comes down to one, unfortunately. Uh, but we're going to have more giveaways. Sonic Cake has actually sent us another pedal that we're going to do another giveaway for, so that's pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and uh, we do appreciate y'all. It's definitely going to keep the wheels on the bus here for our, our, our channel, and we're super thankful that you guys have chimed in and participated, and we hope you like what you're seeing. So please stay tuned for more. Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing, liking, and commenting on the very successful demo that we did for Sonic Cake's Rock Stage Multi Effects pedal. Uh, we had a great time, and Sonic Cake liked it so much as well that they decided that they would send us another one of their products. And we're super excited to do this one. I personally am because I'm a big fan of these type of pedals. Uh, we also are going to be doing another giveaway on this pedal as well. We're going to be able to ship worldwide to the next winner of this next pedal. And I have it right here. Let's have a looky loo. This is called the Crybot by Sonic Cake. So let's have a little uh, opening and see what we got here. <laughs> Just free it up. Got it. All right. Oh, once again, taste it. Nothing special. Yes. Here is the pedal, lots of, oh look at that. Now that's something you don't see very often. They've actually put the Velcro on there if you wanted to attach this to your pedal board. A couple of cards again. Oh, that's pretty cool, nice little rubber housing. Man, you could put that inside your pedal gig bag. So this is actually one of the micro pedals um, that we've um, all become quite accustomed to. Very, very common these days, and I must say, very cool. Our first video with Sonic Cake product, um, I, I was really impressed with the housing and I kept throwing the rugged, it's a rugged housing. And you know what? It's rugged housing. Once again, they have hit it out of the park in that. Sensitivity, presence, and decay. Um, those are the three micro adjustment knobs up there. What is an envelope filter? The way I think of an envelope filter is it's very much like a wah in some respects, but it's more touch sensitive. Um, so it's basically fixed in, in position and how hard you attack it makes the notes jump out and then close. It's like, wow. Uh, it's very touch sensitive and you can obviously dial the sensitivity back as well. That's just this what they have here. So all based on your pick attack and that's how much it will open or how quickly it will open uh, in response to your attack and uh, you can dial it back almost off and it, you really have to chug and push hard for the envelope to wow. It's basically an auto wah. That's what an envelope filter is. Very common with funk. Uh, I'll th say the dead thing again. I think Jerry definitely made it famous. What I Am is What I Am by Edie Brickell. That's one of the very most, most famous solos that I think all of us remember. Uh, if you've heard it song, what I am is what I am is, you know, Edie Brickell, married to Paul Simon. Not a lot of people know that little tidbit. But uh, anyway, envelope filters, man, they're so much fun. They make things quacky. Definitely the duck sound. Yeah, anything from the funk era. These, these guys have been messing around. Flea, Flea would throw those things into chili pepper. It's, um, it's a very common effect among bass players, actually. Um, not so much in the guitar world, but it's become more and more common. And uh, I almost want to say that John Mayer might use them occasionally. I think there's a, a track or two. And I actually heard one 
in a country song recently. The guitar solo was <laughs> a little filter in a modern country song, which blew my mind. But I was kind of happy to hear it because I do like envelope filter. All right, so we got four different knobs on here. The one in the very center, which is the larger one, is the frequency. So that adjusts your frequency range. Uh, the one right above it in the very center of the top three here is your presence. And uh, that's basically like a brightness control, how much of the high end you want to come in or filter in or filter out. Uh, sensitivity is on your left. And on the right is the decay, how quickly you want the original signal to go back to its place after it's responded. I've used an envelope filter for many years on a number of different gigs, especially when I did a bunch of Grateful Daddy uh, jam band type of stuff. What a really cool addition. I used an MXR envelope filter from the 70s. And I loved it so much that I actually own a number of them, uh, which is only has two knobs on it. And uh, this one's got a few more adjustments, which is kind of neat, because you can actually shape your tone a little bit with um, this EQ, which is kind of the presence there, almost like a tone control. So I'm excited to try this out. Once again, it's a rugged housing. <laughs> it's got some density to it, uh, which you know leads me to believe that it's well made and it's going to you know stand the test of time. Uh, obviously has the side jacks and your power is at the very top or the back end of the uh, pedal. So um, pretty excited to check this out. If it's anything like the first pedal that we received from Sonic Cake, it's going to be a hit. So stay tuned. And if you would like to have one of these pedals for yourself after hearing the demo, please enter our giveaway. And you do that by liking, subscribing to the channel, and also leaving a comment in the comment section below the video. And Sonic Cake will ship the winner, this pedal, a new one, not this exact one, internationally, anywhere in the world. So feel free to enter into the contest. And we'll see you soon. Let's go see what she does.
Thank <laughs> you. 